Welcome to the Center of Inner Health, sharing China science and technology. Now, let, let me explain why it's so important to calm the mind. In our day-to-day -day work, we have a lot of noise. Noise doesn't necessarily mean noises we understand. Noise can mean also disruption of the mindset, garbage in the brain, Okay, cannot focus and also deviate from here or there easily. I summarize all this phenomenon to use one English word called noise. Okay, noise is different from voice. Voice is very clear, very distinctive. Noise is random. Okay, so that's, that's the point of our day to day life. So, what city meditation Qigong will do to us? is to reverse that process so when we do the five the reason why we do the five everything sometimes you don't need to do once you come down right away but once it will be enough <clears throat> just from experience five to six times are the norm for most of the average person to come down the mind so when you breathe it's always abdominal breathing so when you breathe in the belly expands so when you breathe out, you make the heart sound. Why do the heart sound instead of other breathing methods? Because when you breathe out using the heart sound, you calm down the heart, the breathing much quicker. And so you do it five times, you one slower than the previous one. At the end of the fit breathing, <clears throat> you capture the point into your head, slowly close your eyes, close your mouth, and nose in, nose out. Yeah. And slowly, you just, as if you are not even breathing. You make a habit, when you breathe in, belly expands, when you breathe out, belly swings, and after you get in your tomb, you don't think about it. The more you empty your mind, the more the chi will flourish. So it will heat it, be heating up your Dantian area in your belly to begin to flow and form the small heavenly cycle. But it also coincides with what I've been saying the last few sessions. Okay, is to transform the beta level mindset Beta level meaning noise, our day to day work, our random thinking. Okay, that's the level of beta. Beta level is actually noise. And then when we calm down, completely slow down. Okay, okay so in the beta level, the brain waves goes from 14 to 17 cycles per second. That's quite rapid. Like this, every second it goes this. 14 to 7 times, that's quite quick. That's the normal noise level of the brain wave. <clears throat> Once you do this five times deep breathing and empty your mind slowly, your brain wave will slow down. And once it goes below 14, okay, that is from 7 to 14 cycles per second, you will reach a different alpha level. The slower, the higher the alpha. That way the subconscious mind kicks in. And once the subconscious mind kicks in, it replaces the conscious mind. And then you can begin to connect with Qi. So Qi level and the alpha level are like troops. They, they do handshakes very well. Okay. And when you can stay in the alpha level for longer, then this level of subconscious mind create way beyond the four dimension and they can make things happen to be in simple english terms it makes your dreams come true okay. whether it's health financial relations solving problems you require this level because it's very effective okay over a long time of practice the more 
you acquire your bling. Eventually, you bring your bling to the Tata level, TETA Tata level, which is between four and seven cycles per second, very slow bring waves. At this level, you, you're joining up with the universe. Between Alpha and Tata level, you're already joining energies of the universe. So that brings to the other level of Qigong. Because in Qigong, there are three major methods. At the beginning, it's called self strengthening We do everything first to strengthen your own mind and body. If you don't have a strong mind and body, you cannot really help other people. So that's the first level. That is called self strengthening The second level is strengthening other people. You can use the, your power to help other people heal. And then in parallel or at more advanced than that, is you become a transient. Okay, a trans. So you connect energy with the universe through your body, and you become like a wire to transmit this energy to the subject. And that in Chinese is called Dou Nam Shun. In Mandarin called Dao Yin. In English called connect, connecting and transmission of energy. Okay, so your body becomes transient. So the beauty of this level of Qigong is you don't need to think about it. You can have a distance or you can touch. You just empty your mind, you don't think of anything. At that, when you are in the alpha to theta level, automatically connect with energy from the universe form. That is very energy saving. Thank you. Even though you're helping other people, but you're also charging up your battery at the same time. Because in the three levels of Qigong, when you're strengthening other people just using a Qi, it works too, but you are draining your energy. But when you empty your mind and do the transmission, okay, it works and you don't drain your energy. So that makes a big difference. Understand? So that's what we want to achieve. And years later, if you are very persistent in your practice, many, many years later, maybe some get it quicker. And you reach the delta level. The delta level means you will come in complete control of yourself, of the universe, of the energies. And you can heal virtually any disease, like Jesus and Buddha can, or that more because they already were at the Delta level. So that is some, some of the things you want to achieve. That's the fourth level of Qigong. Once again, first level of Qigong is to transform all the energies, that's the potency in the Qi. So we want to generate Qi. <clears throat> so measurement is when you achieve this first level of early heaven Qi cycle from the spine up the back to the one time, that's called earlier heaven cycle, and that is end of stage phase one of Qigong, or you achieve the proper alpha level of the brain waves. <clears throat> Second level, you transform the Qi into spirits, so the third eye begins to open. You can visualize things before they happen, things like that. But you can see through people, what people have in the mind, you see through it. Okay, that in Qigong would be the second level. In terms of brain wave, you'll be between alpha and theta level at that moment. And then you transform the spirits to um, the nature um, or emptiness, we call it. So that is in the perfect theta level. So coinciding. And finally, you reach the final level of Qigong, transform from emptiness to the, back to the universe, to the rule of nature, or the Tao. Tao is a perfect balance of yin and yang. And that is the delta level in the brain waves. So Qi and subconscious mind are like twins. Okay, they are always handshaking at every level. But for now, we must learn to empty our mind 
to get rid of this day-to-day -day noise. Remember, we are living in a very noisy world. All this bad news, good news, crazy news, killing this, bullying this, all this is noise. But when we get too busy with a world we cannot calm down our mind, we're very noisy. So once we can remove this noise and cleanse our mind, we reach the chi level. The chi level will make you younger, okay? And you will see sharply, you will hear sharply, okay? So even though you reach a higher age, you, you still will be sharp. Dominic and I only one year apart. But because Dominic never practiced Qigong until now, so that's what makes a huge difference. And I've been practicing Qigong since 1976. Okay. So that way would completely change your mind and the body structure, physically speaking. Okay, at this point, I gave you a 10 minutes complete silence and so stop talking. So close your eyes and empty your mind. You feel very relaxed for the next 10 minutes.
Okay, now you can open your eyes slowly. Do an ego stretch, breathe in, breathe in, and breathe out, lock up. Do this three times to loosen up. Two. And three. Good evening, Sifu. Good evening, everybody. I agree with Bobby. And then you can stretch your legs to tap your legs inside out, loosen up. Now, when you tap your legs, always tap from inside to the foot, inside out. This is the way to detox. This is also by tapping, it's also the quickest way to relax the tension. All right? Now we go right to the uh, bone marrow technique. Bone marrow technique is a way of uh, cleansing the body down to the bone marrow level. It's a method that developed. Okay, and a lot of stretching would be required. The stretching is a way to strengthen your liver channel because the liver and your joints and ligaments are interrelated. As we get aged, as we get older, our whole body tends to contract. That's why we shrink. Even the joints, especially on the vertebra on the spine, can shrink so much sometimes and cause spinal arthritis. So that's why in Qigong is very important to visualize stretching, the whole spine being pulled apart, pulled straight. That way we minimize the friction between vertebrae. Very important. Okay. Now the bone marrow technique also is based on the five elements. The five elements are wood, fire, earth, metal, and water, representing different parts of the body. Okay. The body is divided into five elements plus a yin and yang. And the rule of thumb, anything inside your ribcage, inside your ribcage is yin. And anything outside your ribcage in the belly, that is, is yang. And this entire cavity is called triple warmer. The so triple warmer house all these yin and yang elements. The yin elements would be looking after control, almost like the, the uh, pilot. Whereas the yang organs in the belly, belly look after the functions, they're the labors. Okay. You notice that if you look at the rib case, they are not even. The back ribs is a bit more because of the kidneys. Kidneys is a yin organ, so it has to be well protected by the ribs. The ribs are like an armor, so it's very important to protect it. So the wood channel begins with your big toe for those people who just join us. And for people who I have heard this a zillion times, hopefully you won't forget. So start with the big toe, goes to the quarter in of your foot, goes to the inside of your lower leg, Three fingers above the ankle joint. That joint on the lower leg is called the triple yin junction point. It's a junction of your liver, your kidneys, and your spleen. And this shoots all the way up to your liver, which is on the right side inside your ribs. And the liver is called the yin wood or cool uh, wood, so it cannot be yang. So what happens when the yang becomes, when the liver becomes yang? That is, you boil it with alcohol, you have anger all the time, you don't go to bed properly or not before 1 a.m. because between 1 and 3 a.m. is called the hour of the ox. The hour of the ox is when the liver needs a rest. And between 11 p.m. and 1 a.m. is called hour of the rat. And this hour is when the gallbladder needs a rest. So these two are interrelated, okay? Because the gallbladder is a yang wood. So you got the yang wood and then the yin wood. And then it shoots up to your eyes and it comes down to spread through your joints and ligaments. When the liver fails to detox the system, two major detoxing organs, liver and kidneys. So when the liver fails to detox, so you will see freckles on the skin, moles coming, popping up from the skin. That's a sign that your skin, your liver is not detoxing properly. When people always get temperamental, that means 
too much yang energy in the cool wood liver. So consistent anger eventually would make the liver harder. And also fatty food, people don't exercise properly or be eating highly greasy food, things like that, that can cause the fatty liver. Or people who had the hepatitis B, eventually the liver can harden. All these can lead to liver cancer. So it's very important for this general, this is called the defense general of the human body to the liver. So it protects the bodies. But when it sometimes does not behave, it got the signals wrong, it's self-attacking. So the autoimmune system is killing itself. So many problems would be also related back to the liver channel, such as fibromyalgia, such as lupus. All this had to do with this defense system self-attacking. So it's very important always to be calm, always to be no temper, and always smile and be happy because smiling is fire which will remove the wood energy. Too much wood energy is also anger. So very important. And when this wood energy is disorganized, it can also cause nervous trouble, nervous trouble with the nervous system. People cannot control this body, okay, can be related back to this liver channel. So it's a very powerful channel, good and bad. You want it to be your friend, not your enemy. When it's your enemy, your autoimmune system will be shot. Okay, so the color is green, visualize green light to cover the body. When you breathe in, always through the nose, gently. When you breathe out, the mouth forms the shape of light blue fruit. So breathe out. So that's a little breathing. So together, breathe in. One, two, three, four, Five, six, and roll the right elbow up, breathe in, down, breathe out, left elbow, that's one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, Six, six, and lift. Don't forget the mouth in the point of first shape. Two, slowly so you can feel the chi. Fingers point at the opposite side. Two, when you're pulling up the right hand, three. Right finger point left. When you're pulling up the left hand, left finger point right. Four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. And row one. One, two, two, <clears throat> three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, and stretch. One, one, two, two. Three, three, four, four, <clears throat> five, five, six, six, and stop. Now after this plane comes summer, 
The energy is fire, so it's a red color, visualize red halo cover your body. The sound is hot, okay? And this uh, hot channel, the cool fire is the heart. The yen fire is your small intestines. Now, however healthy you are, you can look at your fingernails. For example, your small fingernail and the middle finger, small finger is your heart and small intestines. Middle finger is solar plexus. If they are super red, too red, it can indicate high blood pressure. If it's very pale, it can indicate low blood pressure. Okay? So it's very important. So if your finger, these two fingernails begin to crack, easily you should pay more attention to your heart. So the energy initiates from these two fingers, drawn up to the center of your palm, okay, and then go to the wrist and to the inside of your lower and upper arms to the front shoulder, down to your heart and up to your tongue and down to cover your blood vessels. Now this sentiment is joy, happiness. So a little bit of laughing, three times a day at least, can massage your heart properly. But too hard a, a kind of laughing can also hurt it. So in Chinese, we always do things in the medium, middle of the road, never too much, never not enough. And that's the highest point. Same as the philosophy in Yi Jing, the highest form is just one knot below the highest point. And you don't want to reach the highest point. Once you reach a uh, higher point, the highest point, you begin to go backwards. So it's very dangerous. Okay. Now, so the season is summer, obviously. So colors red, the sun is hot together, breathe in. One. Two, three, four, five, six, row one, one, two, two, three, three. Four, four, five, five, six, six, and lift. One, one, two, two, three. Three, four, <coughs> four, five, five, six, six, row one, one, two, two, three. Three, four, four, five, five, six, six, and stretch. One, one, two, two, three, three. Four, four, five, five, six, six, and stop. Now, for people who may have some issue with the heart, maybe too tired. When you don't have enough sitting, or when you work too hard, you work all day long. Right, love this. Your heart will tend to be very uncomfortable. Okay, so this is the self healing technique. If you feel like this trouble breathing or heart pumping very uncomfortably, 
to your left hand on your heart don't touch just leave it there right hand on top of your head don't touch leave about an inch apart do the heart breathing a few times then you will calm down your heart it would lower your blood pressure also if you have high blood pressure But for people who may have trouble lifting the hand to the head for whatever reason, then you can do double hand to knee like this. Double hand in front of your heart. Always a left hand close to your heart, right hand on top, because the heart works incoming is from the right side of your heart. Output is from the left side of your heart. So it goes from right to left. So the right the left hand is closer to your heart. So put your left hand close to the heart, right hand on top. And do the heart breathing, that will help you to calm down your heart. And also a good way to prevent heart problems. Okay. Now, I, I, why do I emphasize this? I only found out yesterday. In my year to year uh, television recording for the New Year predictions, there was I did it the Mandarin, Cantonese, and also the English. Maggie Ng, who used to interview me in English. Okay, very nice lady. Who will look healthy, very tall but lady. Okay, always very gentle. Only, I only found out yesterday on that, on uh, Christmas, Boxing Day, she passed away. And I suspect that she passed away of heart issue, could be heart attack. So young, only 41 years old, 41 years. Sometimes I wonder, because she knew I teach Qigong, I share Qigong with people, I invited them to join the class. And they always say they're so busy on this and that. You know what? If we are dead, it doesn't make sense to be busy. In order to afford to be busy, to achieve things, we need a healthy body and mind, losing which nothing matters. And I felt so bad that, well, I cannot force a, a horse to drink water if the horse doesn't want to drink water. Am I correct? Is that the right way to say it? But I said my piece. I urge people to join the class at least for free. And I felt so bad people died that otherwise they could have lived. So young. I I guarantee you she would have joined the class. Today she will still be living. So sad. The last I felt so sad by hearing this she was she interviewed me for so many years for the New Year English predictions. And always you can still find her smiley face on YouTube with me. And just like that, just like a star gone. So I want to share that with you. Please value your health mentally and physically. Make yourself healthy. These classes can be shared with yourself, among yourself, your friends, and anyone you wish. And I hope through this, everybody can be healthy. Okay, those who agree with me, show me your hands. Thank you. Yeah, I still couldn't get out of my mind because I hate to see good people. When they say good people last forever, live forever, it's all bullshit. You still need to look after yourself. Okay. Okay, now after summer comes a long summer or Indian summer, which is a period between summer and the fall. That is the element of Earth. Earth is the color yellow. So visualize yellow light to cover the body. It's represented by your stomach as a yang of warm Earth. And the spring is a yin of cool Earth. Okay, so these two are on the left side of your body. Okay, very important organs. And it begins with your second toe. You touch your second toe. 
goes to the portal in of the foot, goes up through this joint here. The joint, the first three mile point, that is the hitter hole below your tibular bone joint here on your low leg, and it goes up to your stomach, then goes up to your lips, and go pass down to cover your muscles. So stomach and muscles interrelated. Now stomach is what channel? Stomach is earth channel. Do you know from earth comes with your element? Earth creates metal. And metal is the lungs. And lungs control the skin. So what happens when the earth channel is too what we call too humid? Too much moisture in the spleen and stomach, in Chinese medicine terminology. You know what the result would be? Itchy skin. Itchy skin. Because earth plays metal, metal controls the skin. Okay? You, then you begin to scratch a lot. Sometimes you thought something wrong with you. you you're scratching the body like a monkey. So a lot of, then one source could be your skin skin and stomach getting too much moisture so you need to dry it up a bit, a bit okay so this next exercise will help a lot obviously so the sound is who together breathe in one two three four Five, six, row one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five. Six, six, and lift. <coughs> Do it slowly so you can feel the chi on your palm. Two, two, three, three. Four, four, five, five, six, six, and row one, one, two, two. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, and stretch. One, one, two, two, three, three. Four, four, five, five, six, six, and stop. Now the sentiment of earth is thinking. So thinking takes the earth energy, that is. That is also, if you think too much before meal time, it can take away the earth energy. That way you can lose appetite in food. You're eating, but you're not eating type of thing. You feel full because it takes the earth energy. So when you're eating, don't think too much. Laugh more because laughing is fire. Fire creates earth. So when you're happy, when you have a party, you, you have better appetite. You eat more. So happiness and diet go hand in hand with diet. Okay. So after the earth comes the fall. So after long summer comes the fall or autumn, 
The element is metal the colors are white, so visualize white light to cover the whole body. Now the metal channel is divided into yin, that is the lungs, and yang, which is all large intestines and colon. So to judge how healthy your lungs are, okay, so you look at your thumb. To judge how healthy your colon, whether you got colon cancer or not, look at your second finger, the fingernail, okay? If your fingernail shows a black line, so your colon is not balanced, you may have a problem with blood constipation or something, that usually will show up as a black line in your second fingernail. But if your thumbnail shows a black line, pay more attention to the lungs. <clears throat> because the lungs begin with your thumb, okay, goes to the back of your wrist, it goes to the outside, okay, of your front arm and upper arm, and passing this point here, okay. This point is called the bending well point, W-E-L-L, -L, bending well point. This is a very important point in acupuncture. It goes to the back of your upper arm, to the back shoulder, onto your lungs, and up to your nose. So anything wrong with your lungs shows in your nose, also shows on your thumb. Anything wrong with your large intestine shows on your second finger. So these are indicators. So in Chinese medicine, we call you look, you smell, you ask, and you finally you do the pulses. But the pulses are different from Western medicine. The main thing is see how, how strong your chi is. Once you touch, you touch six different channels on your hand. Okay. So that the chi on your wrist will show how strong each chi is for your body. So that's how it works. And the sound of lungs is Z, Z, I with the T touching. The sentiment is sadness. That's why in the fall, you got so many musicians, artists, and poets, because their mind is very sentimental in the fall. Okay? So together, the white color, sound is Z. One, two, three, four, five, six, and row one, one, two, two, three, Three, four, four, five, five, six, six, and lift. One, one, two, two, three. Three, four, four, five, five, six, six, and roll one, one, two, two. Three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, and stretch. One, one, two, two, three. Three, four, four, five, five, 
6 and 6 is top. Now after the fall comes winter. Winter, the element is water, the color is black or blue, so visualize blue light to cover the whole body, the sun is shh. Okay, now the yin water is a kidney. The warm water is a bladder. Okay, so these are in and, in and out control. Now the origin point is a small toe. So from a small toe, go to the center of your foot, go through the ankles, go to the triple junction point on the lower leg, and go through your knees, your pelvic area, your kidneys, and up to your ears, and up to your brain, and down to cover your entire skeleton. Now to judge how healthy your kidneys are, you, you, you take your socks off, look at your small toe, as part, especially small toenail. Okay, so the toenail is very magical. I mentioned this a long time ago, but I'll take the opportunity to explain it one more time. People born in Hong Kong or born in places south of Hong Kong, such as Indonesia, Vietnam or something, if you look at those natives, look at the small toe. The toenail has two pieces. So in the old days, we call Vietnamese people of the cross toes. In Chinese called Gao Qi in Cantonese, Mandarin Zhao Zi. That means double small toenails. Once they come to Canada for more than six years, the double nails become one nail. Okay, very interesting. So when you look at the color of this nail, it seems a little lucky. Or, okay, usually it means it's something wrong with the kidneys. Or if it's very pale, the person may have frequent urination. The kidneys cannot hold the pee, pee or the bladder, one or the other. And if it's black, God forbid, the kidneys is in big, big, big trouble. Look at the color of small toe nail. And this toe nail means something. Look at the second toe or the fourth toe from the big toe. Okay, the four toe, that toe controls your gallbladder. So to look at the, if this toenail turns yellow, something going really wrong with gallbladder. Okay, if this toenail, unless you cross it, otherwise it should not be dark or black. If it turns black, your gallbladder may even hit the end of the journey. Okay. And if you look at the second toe from the big toe, look at toenail color, that toenail controls your stomach. How healthy your stomach is can be shown in the color of the second toenail. The big toenail controls two important things, your liver and also your spleen. So anything wrong with your liver or spleen or the blood system will show on the big toe. Now the big toe is very vulnerable to virus attack, something called the, um, I forgot the name, now Dr. Ho would know the name. So some people, the big, the toenails, uh, um, you talk about fungal nails? Fungal, yeah, fungus, yeah, fungal nail. Usually attacking most most of the time will be attacking all the five toenails, okay. But mainly the big toenail, so this can eventually affect the liver. So it's a very important. Don't but don't get paranoid. You see something wrong with toe with the nail color. If you're paranoid, you better go check your doctor or you ask Sifu <laughs> to take a look at your nail colors. But that's an indicator. All right, so now we are talking about this uh, water channel, the kidneys. The two major detoxing systems in the body is the liver and the kidneys. These two in Qigong are also called the aging agents. In other words, if you keep your liver and your kidneys strong and healthy, you live longer and healthier because you detox properly. Understand? Okay. So the color is blue, it starts Z, Chi, rather Chi, Chui, Sang. Together, breathe in. 
one, two, three, four, five, six, and row one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, and lift. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, and row one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, and six, and six, and stretch. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, and six, and stop. Now, before we go to the triple warmer, I want to further one very interesting observation to share with you guys now out of so many different nations in the world we have to admit whether you believe it or not the jewish people are very smart people and they actually not just that they know how to make money i mean average but they make you best scientists a lot of top notch scientists are jewish in fact, a lot of top-notch actors are Jewish, such as Paul Newman, okay, and you can name quite a few, okay. Uh, now, there's one happy, uh, one among my many Jewish friends of mine is the feet. They like to dip the feet in the warm water, and I suggest, if possible, have a bucket every night Dip your feet in the warm water for at least 10 minutes with salt in it, it or Epsom salt or sea salt. It does magic. Now, number one, you already understand what I just mentioned about the five toes. But the body is magical. While the whole body is a universe, but it has sub-universes. For example, everything that exists in the human body also exists in each palm. Each palm contains everything in the body. This is called small universe. Each year has everything to do with human body. Okay? In fact, I developed a theory which has yet to be proven by science. The shape of everyone's year is exactly the shape you are when you were fetus in your mom's belly. That's how you look like and that's, that's the shape of your year. That's my theory. But most importantly, each foot contains every part of your body. Okay? And in old China, they developed something. In northern China, it's called Mo Sa Zi. Mo Sa Zi in, in Mandarin. In Cantonese, in Mo Sa Zi, or there are more, and more. The proper way in northeastern China is more such. So when it trans then the French people came to China, they bought the Chinese term more such, then translated massage in English and massage in, in French, I believe. 
So this is actually a Chinese word. It means you rub the body to extract the toxin. That's the meaning of it. Mo meaning rub. Sa meaning the toxin inside. Zi meaning the method. Mo sa zi massage meaning to rub the toxin, pull out from the body. That's what it is. And the Jewish people, even in the time of Jesus, so before Jesus, they already know how important the feet are. So when they kind of bathe their feet in hot water, methodically they are to massaging the whole body. And the ten toes together are related to your brain. So when the ten toes are healthy, your brain is healthy. I think over so many thousand years. So that's uh, my theory why the average Jewish person is so smart. Okay. So I they have my admiration for that part. I mean, I admire everything they do, but this is the one part I admire them. Okay. So remember the importance of feet. So starting tonight or tomorrow night. Maybe you can get a plastic bucket and get some hot water and some Epsom or sea salt in it. Then just put your feet up to here, up to triple injunction point for 10 to 15 minutes every night. It can do magic. I enjoy my trip to China for that reason. Every time we have a good dinner, usually they have a massage place downstairs. So we just go downstairs and fall asleep while they put the feet in the warm water. So comfortable. You live like a king for less than a hundred bucks Chinese money, twenty bucks Canadian. <laughs> you can't beat it. All right. So the triple warmer is body cavity. The color is white. The sound is soft. C. The teeth don't touch. Together, breathe in. One. Two. Three. Four, five, six, well, one, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five. Five, six, six, and lift. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four. Five, five, six, six, and row one, one, two, two, <coughs> three, three, four, four, five, five, six. Six and stretch. One, one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. And stop. That concludes the bone melt technique. I took the opportunity also to give you more knowledge to explain related topics. I hope you find it interesting. Okay. Now we go to the twelve pieces of silk, which is basically working on your water channel of your body system. So sit again and then close your mouth and tap your teeth up and down 36 times.
Okay, by tapping your teeth, you're enhancing your whole own system. The interesting thing is the teeth are the hardest part of your body, but they belong to the water system. Very interesting. So water is super soft, but also super hard. So water, when at high speed, can penetrate steel. That's how hard water can be. So don't underestimate it. Okay. So other than you rotate your tongue with the mouth closed, clockwise 36 times, tongue clockwise 36 times. This is for your lung and for your heart and for your brain. And then the saliva you generate and swallow in three mouthfuls gently. Okay. Now these motions in the tropical seal is actually described by a poem, a Chinese poem, which is very amazing, describing every motion. Now the tongue stretching technique. Okay, so six repetitions, stretch all the way out and rotate back, roll back all the way in. Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Now rub your hands hard, tap the heavily drum with your index finger 24 times on the back of your head for hearing and memory. Cover your holes tight, 30, 24 hits. Rub your hands hard. Rub your lower back up and down 36 times. Okay, leave your left hand on your left, right hand form the peak. Tap on top of your head six times. Between your eyebrows, that's the third eye. Solar plexus. Down 10. Hand and foot, this is the best way to strengthen your lungs against cold, flu, and COVID. Breathe in. Breathe out, hit. One, two, three, four, five, six and change feet one two three four five six okay feet back in position grab the back of your head breathe in breathe out one two three four five six now breathe into the left back, breathe out to the front, right back, to the front, that's one, two, two, three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six. Now breathe in, breathe out, bend down, breathe into the left back, breathe out, down, breathe in up. So one, to right side. Two. Two. 
three, three, four, four, five, five, six, six, Stop and now stretch your legs, tap your legs inside out to loosen up. Put your legs together, hug your feet backwards, breathe in and breathe out. It's for your kidneys. One, two, and three. Second time, one, two, and three. Third time, one, two, and three. Four time, one, two, and three. Fifth time, one, two, and three. Six time, one, two, and three. Now, take a um, seven minute break. Seven minutes, back here by half past 10. Go to the washroom or drink some water or stay behind the chat. Wow, you guys are really catching up. Very meaningful. These questions are loaded. Meaningful questions. Any other? You know, out of so many, so many, so many different body disorders, you know what's the hardest? Brain problems. Brain problems. Like, when I did the predictions for year 2020, 2021, 2023, I said in the world, up until end of 2023, the most serious disease in the world is actually not cancer, it's mental illness. Because if your mind is normal, it can always be mind over matter. Mind can create magic. You can make your mind connect with your uh, subconscious mind to make things happen to do healing purposes. But if your mind is out of whack, God forbid, that's the hardest thing. So it's very important to have a healthy mind. Now, to have a healthy mind, the first thing to do is to calm it and to remove hallucination. Okay, hallucinations can be caused by shocks in your life history could be due to a terrible divorce, a terrible bankruptcy, a terrible loss of job. Some people working for one place for life, suddenly lost a job. They don't know they have in their life. They never thought about working elsewhere. They don't know what to do. That can cause a mental shock. This mental shock can cause mental issues or can, can, can cause cancer. And I have seen so many people who work for a particular job for so many, so many decades, suddenly lost. And almost overnight, they develop cancer. And some develop mental illness, just gone crazy. So it's very important to balance your life. While you are having a comfortable position, a comfortable job, please develop all a hobby which can one day become your actual job. So you don't put all eggs in one basket, okay? Remember, in case of a job situation, if you are the boss and you and everyone under you is indispensable, then you lose, you lose big time, okay? And if you are an employee for some company, if you find out you cannot live without the job, then you're, it's dangerous, okay? Always have a second line out. Develop some kind of hobby that you really enjoy because success, part of the word success is not just to make money, it's to have passion in what you do. If you don't like what you do, you're, you're doing committing suicide, doing that kind of thing. So you have to enjoy what you do to be successful. Enjoying it is rule number one. You have passion, you enjoy it, money will come. 
If you hate it, money may or may not come, but for sure you're killing yourself. Okay, so very important to enjoy what you do, to have passion in what you do. Because part of Qigong is overall health. And the mind is an important part of Qigong. Because the mind is out of whack, yet there's nothing called Qi to be talking about. Okay? Now, mind over matter. If you feel there's some demon in your body pushing you around, then you're a loser. If you're a winner, you can overcome any hardship, any difficulties, including so-called demons in your body, in your head. Everybody understood what I meant? Okay, now today, tonight because we drank on a wee bit by sharing so much different knowledge, <coughs> So we still stick to the Tai Yi seven form. Tai Yi is spelled as T I A Y I. Tai Yi means the universe. Okay. The seven forms are seven movements, seven exercises are created. All these seven forms target Qi. So if you do well, you you can obtain Qi very fast. So first one is Genesis. Open. Double. No, sorry, for open left leg first one is bowing to the Buddha first. Breathe in on your toes. Non repetition squat still on your toes. Breathe out. Breathe in up still on your toes. Breathe out on your heel. That's one, two. By the way, Yen had a count of tonight's attendance way. At the peak, we have 46 people. Quite a show up. Actually, we had 49, it grew to 49. The peak? Like yeah. Three. If you have friends who have nowhere to go for the help, help them join us. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine and stop. Breathe in, breathe out. Now, Genesis open. Breathe in, breathe out. You should feel tremendous chi between your hands. Breathe in, open. You should feel something pulling your hands together so slowly as if you are having an elastic between your palms. Three. Nine repetitions. Four. It's almost like uh, electricity between your hands. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. Anybody feeling numbness on their hands? Why yes. step? Breathe out, sit, breathe in up. The universe talks is your name. Two. Three. Four. 
four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Now, to your right hand top is sky and earth. Breathe in, eyes focusing on the center of the palm, the palm to palm facing. One key above the Tai Chi Sun forms, the palms always facing each other. Breathe out. Breathe in. Breathe out. Two. Two. Three. Three, four, four, five, five, six. Six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine, nine, and stop. Twist the hands, right hand on top, and then breathe in all the way to the back. Palms still facing, and breathe out. Rotate your arm, hands. Rotate your hands, breathe in. Let's consider as one, two, two, Three, three, four, four, five. Five, six, six, seven, seven. Eight, eight, nine, nine, and stop. The galaxy splits to the right side. Let's look at the right hand all the way to the back breathe in palm to palm facing breathe out breathe in breathe out that's one two two three Three, four, 
four. Four. Five. Five. Six. Six. Seven. Seven. Eight. Eight. Nine. Nine. To the top and to your right knee, right hand on top, play with these comments. Two. Left side, that's one. Two. Three. You should feel the two hands actually clasping your ball. Four. Rolling between your hands. Five. Six, seven, eight, nine. The combat lands one. One, two, two, three, three, four. Four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight. Eight, nine, nine, and stop. Breathe in, breathe out, cross the ball, the earth, breathe in, separate the planet. Oh, two. Three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, and nine. And pull your left leg in three times breathing. One, two. Three, stretch out your left leg, 
Breathe in. Yeah. Drop your hands hard. Touch your right arm inside down. Left arm inside down. Body top down. Back top down. Knees to the right. One, two, three. Left one, two, three. Front and back. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Have a nice weekend, enjoy the snow, and see you Sunday morning for Tai Chi. Thank you, Sifu. Thank you, Sifu. Thank you, Sifu. Have a good evening, everyone. Bye-bye. Thank you, Sifu. Good night, everyone. Good night, everyone. Thank you. Good night, everyone. Thank you, Sifu. Thank you, Sifu. Thank you, Ian. Thank you, Doris. Thank you, guys.